Sheikh Bassem Al Fartusi, an internationally renowned Qurban reciter and a member of the Al Qurban Board of Imam Ali Shwine, Mr. Muhammad Hussein Mitru, the Qurban and Adan reciter of Imam Ali Shwine, and several other popular figures from Baghdad met with the Grand Ayatollah Shwazi at a central office in Holy Kom, Iran. In this meeting, the Grand Jurist explained the importance of speech making skills and emphasized on clarifying the Islamic laws to the people. أنا أوصيك بدراسة الحوية قبل كم سنة دراسة تعبوية دراسة نشطة كلما كانت لك خلفية علمية هذا تخليك أقدر على خدمة لأهل البيت تبارك الآن الله سبحانه وتعالى له واجبات ومحرمات هذه مؤكدة وله مستحبات ومكروهات ليست بذلك التأكيد صلاة الصبح فريغة ونافلة الصبح ليست بفريغة فضيلة وليست بفريغة فحاولوا في الخطابة تعرفون الواجب والحرام وتعرفون المكروه والمستحب فلا الواجب والحرام تعرضوه عرض خفيف حتى الناس يأخذوا الواجبات والمحطمات خفيفة والمستحب المكروه لا تعرضوه عرض قوي حتى يعتبر واجب أو حرام إذا أردت أن يؤثر كلامك حاول أي شيء بالمنبر تقول في نفس اللحظة حاول تعزم أن تعمل أنت بما تقول Grand Islamic Authority Ayatollah Shwazi was visited by Sheikh Basim Ferdowsi, whom is one of the judges at International Committee of Recitation and Memorization of Holy Quran in Imam Ali Holy Shrine. Accompanying him was Mr. Hussein Matrud, whom is a prominent reciter of Holy Quran and Imam Ali Holy Shrine. He is also a seminary student from Baghdad City. These resected delegates visited the Grand Islamic Authority at his main office in the holy city of Kobe, Iran. After the guests were welcomed by Grand Islamic Authority, he mentioned to the young reciter of the Holy Quran that, I recommend you to continue studying in seminary school for more years to study actively and master Islamic sciences. The more you study, the more background knowledge you will have on Prophet Muhammad and his infallible progeny, the better capable you would be to serve them. Mr. Hussein Matrud, the seminary student from Baghdad, requested from Grand Islamic Authority for more advices. His Highness stated, then His Holiness further added, If you desire your word to be effective, then start with yourself. His Highness also added, I suggest to all of you to study actively to master Islamic sciences. The more you know, the better you would serve. Then the seminary student asked the Grand Islamic Authority to which interpretation of Holy Quran can be dependent on. In reply, the Grand Islamic Authority mentioned that, the interpretation of Sheikh Tusi and also the interpretation of Holy Quran by Sayyid Abdullah Sabar are a good place to start. It is worth mentioning that in this meeting, Mr. Muhammad Hussein Matrud recited a couple verses from Holy Quran and Grand Islamic Authority blessed him. <laughs> ما كان على النبي من حرج فيما فرض الله له سنة الله في الذين خلوا من 